In every Adobe program, the pen tool is very important to know. In this tutorial, we're gonna be looking at the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator, and it's gonna give you the information you need to be able to use that pen tool in any other program as well. This is a lesson or an excerpt from my full class on Adobe Illustrator. You guys can check that out in the link in the description down below, totally free on this channel. Hope you guys enjoy this video about mastering the pen tool. The pen tool is a very versatile tool that allows you to create all sorts of custom shapes and modify your shapes in a very very direct and customizable way so to select a pen tool it's gonna be this little pin head icon over here and that's the pen tool shortcut key is P once I click that I get this pen tool icon with a little star that's basically telling me I'm starting a new path now over here to the right once again we have our appearance panel fill and stroke I'm gonna change this fill and we're gonna get rid of it with the just by selecting none, it's got a red slash through it. I'm gonna add a stroke to this. Let's add, let's make a red shape, we'll just CMYK red, it's gonna be very visible. And then the stroke size, I actually want this to be something like five uh, points or pixels depending on what your units are. To use the pen tool, all I have to do is click and it will add a point. And then it's gonna show me the line that it's gonna create when I click and add another point. So if we just try to create like a little triangle here, I can add another point here, I can come down here to create the triangle. Notice my smart guides are helping line me up as far as uh, where the base of that triangle is. I'm gonna create one that's kind of uh, not so symmetrical. So we'll click out here. And then to close this shape, we're gonna click back here on the first anchor point. Notice the O symbol that appears below the pen tool. That means we're closing that path. Once I click on that, this becomes its own shape. Now if I use the pen tool again, it's not going to continue on that shape, it's actually going to create another shape over here. So it's closed that path, that's what the O symbol meant. Now what can we do with this shape? Well there's a couple things we can do. Let's first start by how to modify these different anchor points. If I hold the Option or Alt key, it changes to this sort of angle icon, angle cursor and I can click and drag on this anchor point to create handles. And notice when I pull out those handles, those handles are influencing the curve of our path. So if I let go, now we've got this curved path. And if I hold Option or Alt again and select just this handle, I can edit these handles to be whatever different type of curve I want them to be. And wherever this handle is pointing, it's influencing the direction of our curve. And the longer the handle is, the more of an influence it has on that curve of the path. So if we let go, notice we've created like a bit of a wave shape. I'll switch over to the selection tool, shortcut key is V for that. We've created this sort of wave shape here. Pretty interesting way of editing our points. One other thing we can do is if we go back to the pin tool, shortcut is P, we can add and subtract points to our shape. For instance, I could subtract this anchor point or add something on this path here. Now let's go ahead and select our shape here. Now that we have it selected, we can switch back over to that pen tool. And now you'll see a plus show up to add points to our path, and a minus show up when we're over top of an anchor to actually subtract that point. So if we add a point, let's say down here, I'm just gonna add a point, added that little anchor to that path. And then we can maybe uh, switch over with the option or alt key and add a little curve to that. And I think I'll add it maybe this way like this. There you go. So now we've got this really weird curved shape going on here along the bottom of what was our wave shape. But let's say I don't like that and I want to get rid of that anchor point. All I have to do is click on the anchor point with the pen tool while that minus icon is showing up and it's going to delete out that anchor point and just take whatever handles there are of the next two anchor points and create a path between those two. So for instance, if we had this as a curved path over here, and I had an anchor point here, and we made that a curve, and then we got rid of it. Instead of just being a flat path on the bottom, it's gonna look at the handles of this guy and the handles of this guy and sort of create the path between. So that's how to use the pen tool to add and subtract points. Uh, another way is that you can actually build shapes with curves uh, while you're creating them instead of editing them afterwards. So for instance, if I click and drag with the pen tool, 
it's going to create some handles. And I'm dragging in the direction that I want my path to go. So let's say I want my path to kind of go up here. I want to create like a, a little sine curve or like a wave. When I let go, it's got that point created. And you can see that as I drag out here, it's already predicting the curve based on my next point. So let's say I create another point here. Also click and drag. We can create a curved path. And we can do the same back this way. Click and drag creating that curved path in the direction that I want the handles to go. The more that I pull them out, the more influence it has on that curve, and the less, the less influence. So that's how we can sort of create these curved shapes as we're building our shape with the pen tool, and then we can close it up, sort of edit that final curve, and then let go. We've got kind of this wonky little shape created. However, you can see the possibilities by using the pen tool to create shapes. Now that this shape is created, remember how I created it with a stroke? Well, we can switch that, add a fill if we wanted to. And a fill is basically all the space in between the shape. It's just going to fill it in with that solid color. And I could uh, change the stroke size to be a lot bigger, or I could get rid of the stroke completely. Now one other thing with that stroke, if we add it back and we make it, let's say it was 50 points again. I can click on that stroke icon and it's going to open up the stroke panel and there's all sorts of options in the stroke panel. But one of them is a line stroke. I could align the stroke to the inside of the shape. Notice how there's our shape path and the stroke is inside of it. Or I could line the stroke to the outside. That allows you to create some different types of shapes and designs and we'll look at that later in the project. We will utilize this but I thought I'd show it to you now anyway.